Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I was having troubles with my headset and I was fighting with it. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome, my dear students. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope your day was nice. What did you do today? ¿Qué hicieron ahora? Ajá. What did you do today in your day? Only work, teacher. Only work. You didn't do anything else. Only work, 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 work. Only work. Oh my God. Late to come back. Home nah. And uh, take a dinner and then. To class. Uh, to class. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of the, the routine of everybody, right? To go to work, <laughs> to, to be in traffic, and then to have dinner, and then to connect to the class. Right, that's much, our routine. <laughs> much traffic. <laughs> there is a lot of traffic right now, but it's because of the season. The season yes. brings a lot of traffic, so it is it's pretty complicated. That that part of the season is very complicated, and everybody wants to go to the to the park, to this, to that, and it's like, oh, thank you ever, thank you for letting me know. It it is pretty complicated. I mean, when you want to do many things, and um, and you have to be there in the traffic. It is so frustrating in some cases. And there are a lot of accidents everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Today, for example, not going that far. I was I was outside the the academy, and then a car was coming, and when it the car moved, it hit a motorcycle, and the motorcycle flew away. And I was like, "What's going on?" Yeah. And it was just there, and I was like, "I saw everything." <laughs> So it is voice. <laughs> it was a very like curious moment because I mean you never imagine that things are going to happen in one second. So you have to be very careful. Okay, Sandrita, how was your day? Oh, I cannot listen to you. I heard a voice, but I didn't listen to it. Uh, 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 my day is okay. I try to pay my house. Okay. What about Rosita? Hello, baby. How are you? <laughs> Rosita and your baby. How was your day? Hello, sweetie. What a lovely little baby, my God. Esos cachetes estaban de a dos libras. <laughs> Está hermoso. He's very beautiful, Rosita. Take good care of your baby. He's very, very beautiful. How was your day, Rosita? Tell me. Um, I clean in my, in my clothes uh, of my baby. Oh, you were cleaning the clothes of your baby. That's a yeah. big work. Hi, my God. Just to be working and folding a lot of clothing. My God. It's a lot of work. Definitely. Yeah. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. It is a big, big pleasure to have you here. We are talking a little bit about your day. How was it and what did you do? How was your day? It was great. I learned new things. Oh, you learned new things. What did you learn? Well, uh, I'm, I have about one week and a half mm -hmm. going to a beauty, beauty salon. Uh huh. So I, I, I learned to put um, 
a mask. So oh. I don't know how. Ah, yeah. that is a, a facial. Uh -huh. Facial, uh, right? The facials and the masks. Uh -huh. Y a uh, poner tinte. Oh, really? How beautiful. Yeah. That's so nice. Now you don't have to pay for anything. <laughs> you can do it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that is fantastic. Definitely. That is really fantastic because you are learning. You can work on that. And for sure, you can get some money with that. So that is very uh, well. Good. Actually, uh, for now is is so. I'm just learning only okay. because is my free time. Oh well, but that's so nice that I, you are doing I it. Did a work a, at weekend in a cyber. Uh huh. In a in uh huh. In a computer shop. You say in a computer, computer shop. shop. Mm hmm. Okay, so yeah. that's that's what you are doing, right? You are working right now. And you yeah. are learning at the same time, right? That's so nice. That it's really fantastic that you are actually investing your time in learning something good. And for sure, in, I mean, enjoying a little bit of uh, this learning for now. That is very nice, Gladys. So later yeah. on, you see, when you want a new hairstyle, Look for Gladys. <laughs> she is going to help. <laughs> exactly. <you>. Yes. <laughs> Baratus. <laughs> Very good. Well, welcome everybody. <laughs> no, I mean I will but, think about it. <laughs> but you have you have to charge some money, right? You have to charge a lot of money. Yes. José Arturo va a ser el primero que llegue. <laughs> oh. No, para un tratamiento ahí de de, de ¿cómo yeah. se llama? Para restauración. <laughs> That Actually, is, there, there, there is a yes. lot of, of men that they put the masks out, and the, all the, the treatment on the face. Yeah, they do it. So yeah. nice, glad that La you humanidad. shared that with us. <laughs> La humanidad <laughs> está ganando a los hombres. For sure. No, and it's good. It's good. My poor yes. husband suffers a lot with me. When I put my, my things on the face, like the mask or something, I say like, come here, come here. And I put on his too. Pero sabe, sabe que la mayoría de hombres llegan y, y no quieren que nadie más sepa que están recibiendo un facial porque les da pena. Oh, ah, pero cuando le, cuando le dicen, ay, qué lindo. Ah, thank you. <laughs> so you see, here you are going to receive a special treatment. Very discreet. Don't worry. <laughs> well, my dear students. Welcome to your final session. Today we are going to have little presentations. You are going to work in groups answering the questions that I sent you yesterday, the questions that we were working on. And for sure, we are going to work a little bit on some tips for English, some tips for you to continue learning. And um, we are going to finish with that. I hope that you finish the process for signing up for the next level, right? Did you finish your process? Ya todos terminaron su proceso para inscripción al siguiente nivel? Um, yes, teacher. Um, no yet. So finish it. You have today, you have tomorrow to do it, to send the documents, the answers, to fill up the form. Do it. I mean, if you start, if you have gone so far, si ya llegaron tan lejos, it is just a matter of finishing, okay? Don't stop until you finish. Imagine you are going to a, a little bit closer to advance. So please, 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 please don't stop. Don't stop on learning. Because Luego later... Yes. I, I was telling that to a student in the morning. Um, he wanted to quit studying. And he told me, Licenciada, mire que yo me vengo a retirar del curso. Que no sé qué, que no. And I said, why? Ah, it's because I have to think about my future and, 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 and everything and, and I don't have time. And I said, you have been here for more than two years. He is missing two months to finish the curse. And he wants to quit now. And I said, you are two months away from being a graduate and then getting a job. And you are quitting right now. 
And I said, you have done so much and you have effort so much just to say, maybe not, and just to stop. So my recommendation is, if you are here, stay here. Work, work for your goals. Practice every day, people. Practice. Many people say, es que no me sirve el inglés. No me, no entiendo, no avanzo. But you don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't do anything later. No, I, I really admire when you are very curious, when you investigate, when you practice. Do it, people. You will never regret. Es algo de lo que jamás se van a arrepentir. Practice. Practice every, with everything that you have at hand. Con todo lo que tengan a la mano. Con películas, con música, con esto, con libros, con artículos, con internet, con TikTok, si les gusta, con YouTube, si les gusta, con Spotify, si les gusta, con Netflix, con, I don't know, with stand-ups, whatever thing, but in English. Practice your English. Practice. And you tell me, teacher, I don't have vocabulary. I never have vocabulary. But you don't read. <laughs> Pero no nos gusta leer. Es que me aburre leer, teacher. No, read about the things that you like. It's Lean like in que... Spanish. It's like in Spanish, exactly like that. It is the same. So that's my recommendation. Please continue. Okay, si no han llenado el formulario, llenenlo ahora, llenenlo mañana en la mañana, envíenlo. Envíenlo. Pero sigan, sigan adelante. Sigan adelante y ahí digan, ay, la teacher, ¿cómo me anda pushing ahí? Que si... Sigan adelante. Cuando ya lo terminen, van a decir, hey, gracias a Dios, llena el formulario. Okay. So, please do it. Okay. This was... Lo eh... todo, che, perdón. Uh -huh. La posibilidad de que nos vuelva a enseñar usted es bien <laughs> difícil. Sí, por favor, por favor. Please, please. I, I really want, I really want to do it. I, I have enjoyed these days so much. And I have been so tired in the day. And here I just forget everything. And I enjoy the class and everything. And I am glad that you have actually practiced and learned a little bit with me. Okay. Espero que esa, esa parte se haya cumplido. Vea. Que algo de lo que pues, podemos se haya compartido y lo hayan adquirido. And, and I, I am more than glad with that. And uh, I am very proud of your effort. It is very different from what you started. Now you are more confident and that's something that I really like. You are more confident at the moment of speaking. You sound better. You pronounce better, right? Sorry for pushing you in pronunciation, but I like that. Okay. So talking about practice, the best way to continue is through practice. Let's go and do this one. And here are the questions that, are, that I sent you, right? Yo sé que las posibilidades son pocas, pero yo ahí lo vamos a hacer cadena de oración para que me vuelvan a dar el grupo. <laughs> I, I, I really like you people. You are very, very nice. So, if we have the chance one day to travel around the world again, Emmanuel is going to Canada tomorrow. <clears throat> when are you leaving to Canada, Manuelito? Manuel, where are you? Lo perdimos. Manuel, when are you leaving to Canada? Hi. Uh -huh. uh, in the 12th, 12th, 20, 22. Ah, in, 20, in the 22nd, the in, day after in the tomorrow. 22nd, yeah. Two. Ah, how nice. Uh, yeah, and that's nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but Enjoy. Uh, but the, the first time is a uh, New York City with my sister. Uh -huh. um, uh, the holidays, the Christmas. Oh, cool! And then uh, Canada. The, and then after after Christmas is uh, to Albany or New York uh -huh. uh, to to Montreal. Oh, oh nice! The Montreal uh, to to Canada, to Toronto. To Toronto! Wow, how yeah, beautiful! Yeah. We are going to be waiting for the pictures, okay? Okay. Nos pone nieve ahí en la foto. There are, there is a lot now, and it's very cold, so enjoy. Nos manda nieve por, por correo. <laughs> yes. It was like, 
uh, I will I will remember I will remember you and I will send you snow they will say and we are going to to receive it there so uh, we hope that you have a beautiful trip uh, here you have the snow <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay so what country would you like to live in people what country would you like to live in? I know we love El Salvador. It's so beautiful, crazy and everything, but it's a fantastic country. It is a very beautiful country. And even with everything, with the traffic, with the people, with everything that we have, it's a beautiful place to live. Definitely, it's a beautiful place to live. We have nature, we have the beach, we have the mountain, we have a lot of touristic places, we have pyramids, we have everything, everything. I, I, I love when I, when I talk to, to tourists and they say, El Salvador has everything in one day. You can go to the mountains, to the beach, to the city, to the cafes in one day. And I said like, you see? express tourism <laughs> we have a little bit of all the wonders of the world but They're welcome. It, yeah they are more than welcome to come if you are not from el salvador and you are watching this video visit el salvador okay turismo no me paga nada por este comercio <laughs> if we don't live in el salvador what country would you like to live in and why the next question what country wouldn't you like to live in and why who is the person you would most like to go abroad with? Abroad is from one country to another one, right? When you travel abroad, right? Who is the person you would most like to go abroad with? What is something you would never travel without that you have to have it? It's like, no, I, I love, for example, uh, let me see one example. Imagine that you have, Uy, a big mess in a moment that you have your favorite gadget right and you say no if i don't have my tablet i cannot travel because this is my life i have everything here i have my job and everything and that's i need it or i have a friend who loves her pillow Ella ama su almohada. and if she travels she takes it and it's like why are you taking that with you i said like i need it and there she is in the airport with the big thing Right? personal. <laughs> I said, like, come on. And she traveled with her pillow. Right? What is something that you will never travel without? Who is the person you will email first after arriving somewhere? Email or send a WhatsApp? I am here. Who is the first person? What will be your two greatest concerns about living abroad? ¿Qué fueron las dos cosas que les afligirían más? Of being in a new country. And the last one, what is the thing you will enjoy the most about living abroad? If you ask me, what country would you like to live in? I will say uh, maybe, um, I don't know, France. It has a lot of problems with water. I would love to live in the United States, for example. I would love to live in the United States. And one country that I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to live in is in China. I don't know. It's too many people, too small, too crowded. No. Or in one of these African countries, right? I don't know. Mucho, no monto de... <laughs> si se me pierde el que me llevó. ¿Cómo lo encuentro? <laughs> <laughs> Sonría. ¿Y cómo era? No Exacto. sé. Tenía los ojitos rasgados. <laughs> I have 3,000 here around. So one country and one country that I wouldn't like to live in is, for example, in, in, in Zimbabwe or Zambia, one of these African countries. I don't know. Or in Thailandia, that they have to sell the ladies, right? Cuanta vacas me da por la muchacha. It is like, and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, and I have another friend from, from India that they say that if you want to get married you can uh, you need to pay the for the lady you need to pay for the lady and it's like the the health the wealthiest person gets the marriage right 
it's like, it, it is pretty curious, right? And I said, like, yo me casé de gratitud. <laughs> there in India, they pay for the lady. And it's like, le vamos a dar estas vacas, estos camellos y este terreno. For the lady. Yeah. Y mi mamá, y yo te di de gratis. <laughs> So it is it, it is pretty <laughs> frustrating. <laughs> but it's it's I think it's very horrible. So I wouldn't <laughs> like to live there. Uh, something that I will never travel without the charger. The charger. El cargador. You need it. I mean if you you can have the cell phone, but if you don't have the charger, bye bye. Who is the person that you will email first? Uh, my mother for sure. But they connect. And so, uh -huh. so places is different. It is different. So I will, I will, uh, I will email or WhatsApp my mother, and I will take another connector. That's true. Uh, the two greatest concerns about living abroad: how to make money, and what do I do if I get sick? The two things. What is the thing you would enjoy the most about living abroad? The weather. I love cold weather, so that's something that I will enjoy a lot. So exactly the same as the simple answers that I gave you, you are going to work with your group and answer the questions, right? It is going to be a small group of three people. So you are going to have the opportunity to talk a lot in detail, okay? Then detalles, hablen bastante cerca de cada pregunta. No, solo así como eh, Miami, eh, Colombia. Why? You have to tell why, okay? It is a moment for you to interact with your friend. Okay, I will be visiting the different groups. So I, I will be listening only, okay? I won't interrupt the groups because I want to listen to you practicing, okay? So we are going to go and do the groups right now. I have, okay, let me see. I will do only six, okay? Here we go. And I will move ever. No, I think it's okay. And let me see. Ah, okay, here I have the groups already. And you have the questions on your WhatsApp, okay? You have the questions on WhatsApp, so you can answer them, okay? I will be visiting the groups, listening to you, practicing, okay? No quiero entrar a ningún grupo que estén callados. Everybody has to be talking and practicing and asking questions and everything, okay? Let's go to the groups right now. Paola, did you receive the invitation? Paulita. Hello, Paulita. Did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? Hello. Thank you, Paulita. Hello. 
Okay, let's go and check how they are doing on the groups. for 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 uh, this country have have many <clears throat> animals in in be dangerous for example uh, the spider the uh, giant spider is uh, I am a fry this this spider the of Australia. Australia has a lot of wild animals. <laughs> they are so horrible. <laughs> okay, continue, continue. In case I will not like to live in China because of it's full. Uh, medical records, all all in the in the number assigned uh, when was born. Oh, that's very right. interesting. Um, uh, the, the weather is very cold. It's only the, the things that I not so much, but the they are uh, classified classified what uh, what a good country for for life. Right. Um, what is something you will never travel without? Who? Stephanie or me? <laughs> um, um, you. Uh, I don't. I I wouldn't like to uh, either in either of two Koreas. <laughs> One because uh, of this of his uh, historic is that is. When ideology, and the other because it's very superficial. Superficial. I don't like the North Korea. Uh, uh, they base their concept uh, as a person on appearance. I don't like this. Okay, good. Okay. But the question is, what is something that you will never travel without? Yes. Yes. Okay. Algo con ah, lo que no viajaría. Ajá. Ajá. O sea, ah, sin lo que no viajaría. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, money and my passport. <laughs> I agree. Yes. <laughs> with you. I agree with you. you say, I, I agree, agree with, with you. you. <clears throat> because if you say, I am agree, yo soy acuerdo. Right? I agree with you. Yo estoy I de acuerdo agree. contigo. I agree with you. Good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Without the passport, you are nothing. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Um, who is the person you will email first after? Is uh, the passport is the is more the better important for for the travel. Mm -hmm. no. I will never travel why why put a passport. <laughs> okay, uh, the next question is who is the person you will email first after arriving somewhere new for Claudia? It will be my mom, but I will I travel with her. No one. 
Okay. In in my Manuel? case, in in my in my case, uh, the first person and communicates. White is my older sister, be, uh, because because my mom is is dead. Okay, for me, I will send a message to my best friend. <laughs> I think that we both enjoy the the same. So he would like to receive my messages and know how I am. Okay. Okay. The next. What would be you? Pardon. What would be your two greatest concerns about living abroad? Abroad. Concerns. 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 About. Uh, living abroad uh in my case in my case uh, uh not speak the language well <laughs> not speaking not speaking not the speaking, language uh, not, not speaking not the speaking, language not speaking the language well, well but if, if you speak english you can communicate with 80 percent of the world so oh. <laughs> there's no problem and okay. and even with horrible english people oh, no. <laughs> believe me okay. believe me that even with horrible English, people can communicate. But, pero, eh, eh, ay, no sé cómo decirlo. Me he dado cuenta que uno tiene que perder como el miedo. Yeah. Y, o sea, yo, por ejemplo, he, he tenido que perder el miedo oh, por no pues... perder un... Un, un, avión, ¿Un vuelo. Un tren, <laughs> yeah. Porque... yeah, me too. Me too. I, wa I was, <clears throat> I was in, in Dallas airport and it is so big that, I mean, it is so huge that you have to take trains and things inside the, the airport. And I was alone. I was traveling alone. And and I said, I need to talk to someone here. <clears throat> and there was a, a very, very tall man there, but he was like dark skin and everything. He looked like African-American. And I asked him, how do I go to the B6 gate? And he told me, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I didn't I didn't understand anything and and maybe he saw my face that I was so lost that he told me go there and then turn left and then go straight <laughs> <laughs> in my case in, in my case uh, the, the pronunciation is complica uh, complicated uh, para, para, para escucharlo digamos porque yeah, una vez I... tuve un problema porque uh, una, un, una persona morena me decía que tenía que hacer como fila en la línea A era, pero como lo decía como en, no sé, no sé cómo lo pronunciaba yo entendí me fui a, a la a la 8 a la I, no sé, a la 8 no recuerdo no. pero estuve esperando ahí salió, oh, my God. salió no, yeah. tren, no, y lo perdí por, por, por eso por pero ahí me di cuenta que es necesario seguir preguntando, o sea, decir, yeah, to, no to keep asking. Yeah. yeah, you have to, you have to be, you have to be confident, people. Ask, ask questions. If you travel somewhere, everywhere, I mean, yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah, poor, poor Manuel, he was, he was lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stories, the stories behind the scene. Continue, yeah, people. Okay. Continue. Continue. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the other, the other, um, that's it. And what, what would be your two greatest concerns about living in a world? I didn't understand the question. Your, your two greatest concerns. A concern is something that makes you feel worried. And you say like, I know, I know. That's a concern, right? That you feel that you you don't have a solution for that. Imagine if you are in the United States and you don't have money. You mm -hmm. would be like, hey, what am I going to do without money? If you don't have a house, if you don't have, I don't know, a, a ticket for the bus. So that can be a concern, preocupación. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, meaning. Okay, okay. One of Oh, the concern is that the credit card don't work. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, 
that is one of the stuff. And the other one is that I can lose my documents. <laughs> and if I, That's horrible. I lose it, it will be so hard to to be in comprobar. How do you say comprobar? To, uh, to prove, you say. It will be hard to prove who you are or to get them back, right? To get them uh -huh. back. Okay. Yes, that's the the two things that I can be concerned. The away. two things that you are concerned about. Good, very yeah. good. Continue, yeah. continue. Okay. In the last one, mm -hmm. what is the thing you would enjoy the most about living abroad? Oh, uh, like to travel. Yeah, that's very exciting to go to another country. Can, can you repeat, please? No, I think all, all of us uh, likes to go to another country, to travel to another country. Yeah, yeah. We, we love uh, that idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's your In... turn, teacher. <laughs> ah, it's my turn, okay, ask me the question. <laughs> <laughs> what is the question? Uh, uh, what country would you like to live in and why? <laughs> well, you know, I spent a, a couple of months in Arkansas and it is a very beautiful place. It's a beautiful city, very clean, very organized. It's one of the top uh, five cities to live in, in the United States. I will definitely go and live there. It is a beautiful city, but beautiful, beautiful. You have free transportation, the food is cheap, the housing is cheap, the, the city is beautiful, the university is really good. So I would like to live in the United States, but I love Excuse El Salvador. Where, yep. where is that? Where, where is that? Arkansas. It's Arkansas. in uh, Arkansas, in yeah. You know, I, uh, I, was, I was telling it Arkansas and the name is Arkansas. Arkansas. And I was like, <laughs> qué vergüenza. Y yo, qué bonito Arkansas, y qué bonito Arkansas. And then the people from there told me, no, no se dice Arkansas, se dice Arkansas. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you for correcting me. Oh, toda mi vida diciendo Arkansas. <laughs> And all, it's like. All the people, all the people that I know, uh, the The most I know lives in New York, in Florida, in LA. Yeah, that. But they, they told me the same that the life is very expensive. Exactly. Life is but very, I, is very expensive, and also it is very. They are very crowded and so fast crowded. and and everything. Yeah. No, but yeah, but but I always uh, I thought that Arkansas last. That, that state Arkansas that another <laughs> another state that they are not so uh, crowded yeah the they are not so crowded very, it's very good yes indeed I, I I really enjoyed it that was really good I was studying because it was a scholarship but uh, I, I really like it El Pio era una beca de estudio but it was very good it was a very nice place so I recommend you that And another one, okay. maybe maybe Colombia or Dominican Republic. Okay. They are very colorful. I like How to long visit. time, teacher? Sorry? How long time do you uh, study? Two months. Oh, did you study? Two months, September and October during this year. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I went all uh, I, at the beginning of September and I came back uh, Almost in November. Oh. Yes, it was. Good. Yeah, it was a it was a teachers exchange program for uh, excellence and achievements. So they choose one teacher from the country to go. Give me the the key teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Study. 
a lot, <laughs> do a lot of effort, definitely. It, it, it was very nice. It was really nice. Practice it, and over and over again. Practice <laughs> over and over again. It was a huge competition. There were almost 250 teachers and they were choosing and choosing and choosing and choosing and I was the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it was uh, a huge teacher, competition. Teacher, I, I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, do you teach about uh, test TOEFL? Mm -hmm. or... Well, the TOEFL test is a test to, to test your English. So the best way to practice for TOEFL is learning, reading, practicing vocabulary, speaking a lot. It is the only way to practice for TOEIC, for TOEFL or TOEIC, right? Wow. Okay, I think that there is difference. Test, uh, TOEFL is uno. TOEFL is, is one, one to and TOEIC is another one. TOEIC is, is academic and TOEFL is professional. If you want to use it for work or for scholarships or to study is TOEFL and TOEIC is academic. If you want to go to the university, for example, and to prove that you know with TOEIC. But um, yeah, whenever you need to study for that, it is a matter of understanding the evaluation. Es una cosa de ir como estudiando la prueba como es, and for sure to know about it. Do you have a son, teacher? I do have, and there are a lot of sites online on which you can do the, the test. I will send you the link. Hay un link donde puedes hacer los exámenes prácticos. Can you? I will for me. sure. I can. <laughs> I can. Yeah. Teacher, I, teacher, are you taking? That, are you taking top? That, that TOEFL test. Uh, how many times the, is 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 valid to before to expire? Two expire. years. Two years. Two years. Yep. Ah, oh, yeah. Two years. Okay. Let's go back to the room, and I will share the 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 information okay. with all of you there. Let's go back. <laughs> Thank you. Then, You're welcome. You're we welcome. Can... Uh huh. Then we can what? <laughs> Me quedé a medio. We were in the middle of the of the. And then we can what? Carlitos, what did you say? You have the microphone off. And you told me, teacher. And then we can. And then this thing took me out. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. We yeah. had a problem in, in our group. What happened? You, no, no, no. <laughs> you, you told us that we need to talk a lot. Yes. Okay? And you didn't so, finish. No, but that's good. No, that's okay. One, one person didn't talk about almost nothing. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, no, dejó a media del chambre. Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry, bueno. Sorry. Oh, bueno. Uh, oh, okay. What were you talking about? ¿De qué andaban platicando? ¿Cómo hay? No, about the questions. Nah. <laughs> we were talking about evaluations, exams, English things. Of uh -huh. course. Uh -huh. No, I was talking about, about the of certifications. <laughs> I do have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much for all the information you were sharing. In many of the cases, I have I noticed in all the different groups that you try to translate what you want to say. Don't do that. Build up the idea, organize it, and share it. It is not like the I heard like one preoccupation that I have. It was like, what preoccupation? What is that? I said, come on. Concern. Concern. Okay. One concern that I have. Something that makes me feel worried. Something that I don't like. Okay. That is uh, the, the, the main purpose of this one, right? For you to practice. What is the best way to learn phrases, vocabulary, and everything? Reading. Reading is the best way to do it, right? We were sharing today about the different customs and the things that you like about the countries, right? 
the things that you actually enjoy about the country. So like, hey, I want to go to Canada because of this. I want to go to the United States because of that. I want to go to Brazil. I want to go to Argentina to celebrate with Messi, right? For the, the World Cup. And in this one, I, I wanted to share this, this specific part of the book because they have different customs. In Canada, for example, if you are invited for a meal, you should arrive on time, not early and not late. If they say at seven, you have to be at seven, not seven, five, no, five to seven, at seven, right? It is not like, me vine temprano para ver qué comí. Nothing, you have to arrive at seven sharp. In Indonesia, you, don't, you cannot point at anything with your foot. We do that in El Salvador. In El Salvador, we point with everything, people. Nosotros apuntamos con el codo, con la boca, con la nariz. You say, where are you? <laughs> oh, así. From the body. <laughs> so you cannot do it in Indonesia. In Indonesia, you cannot do it, right? Cuando teníamos mascarilla, los salvadoreños estábamos atrapados. You say, like, where are you? And it, happened, the map. In, <laughs> it happened to me <laughs> a lot. Yeah, it happens a lot. In Thailand, for example, you never touch anyone, especially a child, on the head. You cannot do it. And in Thailand, men, I mean, men cannot touch women. If the lady is single, it cannot be touched by a man, right? My, I have a friend that is from Thailand, and, and men cannot touch the girl. Right, no, ni el dedo, ni la manita, nada. Even a shaking head. No, hand. I mean, a, a, a handshake, just like normal thing, right? Just like, hello. But if I have you on, on the street, like, dan, 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 no, it's prohibited. They, they cannot do it. In, what it would be, what it would be the consequence, teacher, if somebody. No, they, they feel offended. They feel ah, okay. offended, yeah. Because when we were coming back from the trip, cuando ya nos regresábamos del viaje, un amigo de, de, de otro país, de, de todo, bye, 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 abrazos a todos. And then she went with the Thailand girl. Él llegó a mi amiga, la tailandesa, and she's like, bye, bye. And she's like, no touch, no touch. And I was like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> they, they cannot But that be... happened in South Korea too. Uh -huh, so they cannot be touched by, by men. In Brazil, for example, you can open any gift in front of the person Uh, who gave it to you. You have to open the gift in front of the person. It is like, ah, it's so cute, mira. Calcetín. <laughs> in South Korea, always use both hands to pass something to an older person. So you cannot do like with only one hand. You have to grab it with both hands and give it to the person. So it's something that you have to do. In Egypt, don't eat anything. An older person. If it is an older person, yes. In Egypt, you don't have to eat anything with your left hand. It is not correct. Wow, In... that will be difficult for me because I... You are left-handed. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> In Egypt, sucking a Liliana de aquí, por favor. With the other one. Yeah, oh my God, that would be so bad. In France, when eating out, you keep both hands on or above the table. So you can have them on the table or above the table, but not under the table. Okay, no las pueden poner bajo la mesa. Both hands. You cannot put them under the table. They have to be visible all the time. In Nigeria, when you meet people, you don't call them by their first name until they give you permission. You can say, Evelyn, venga. Huh? I will say, como me dijo? Le diré. <laughs> That's my first name, Evelyn. So it would be like, you cannot do it, right? Until the person gives you permission. It's like, si me puedes llamar por mi nombre. So here- It was great a... for me because I, I don't want to call me Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I always call you like that. Oh my God. You see, aha, hasta la última clase. No, I, I, I always 
told you, but it's okay. <laughs> Imagine. I, have, I understand. <laughs> I have 16 days calling you, Gladys, 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 and you never told me anything. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. You are so kind. <laughs> <laughs> well, hitting El Salvador, for example, something that is not well seen, it's like, what? Let me see. <laughs> We are very open to everything. <laughs> and what is some prohibitions that we have people here in El Salvador? Different customs, the strange traditions that you say, hey, if we, even we have it, it we don't respect it. <laughs> so. uh, it. It pupusas with fork and a knife. Yes. <laughs> Ay, curtido, no, por favor. Ew, that bag cabbage. No. Also pizza with fork and a knife. It is yes. so like, <laughs> it is not well seen. And because here, if you go to a place, if you go to a place, for example, and you visit someone, do you take something to their house? If you are invited to a house, do you take someone when you visit them? Yes or no? Or you just appear. Me traje a mí. <laughs> or soda, it bread. It, dep <laughs> it depends on the invitation. You say. Do you do you bring things when you are invited to visit someone? Llevan algo cuando yes. los invitan? Yeah. Yes. Beers. <laughs> Beers and <a> snack. <laughs> Honesty. I love it. <laughs> That is for convenience. Always. <laughs> Always. Mira, trajo un six y se tomó cinco. <laughs> <laughs> they are no, for the, me. The person, the person who I drink with. <laughs> uh, the person that you drink with, what? Uh, the person who I, who I visit, no, don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's a gift for yourself. Come on. Yeah. No, no. Come on, Jose Arturo. Ya con la última le pregunta. Seguro que no quiere. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. Traje mis propios limones. Okay, so it is very common in it. What is the most common gift in El Salvador when you visit someone? Hmm. Beers, no, okay. That, that. <laughs> well, my smile. My smile. <laughs> my presence. The dessert. dessert, exactly like that. The dessert. Mm. The most common thing, sweet bread. Sweet <laughs> bread, and then you see la tecleña box. <laughs> and it's like, ah, ya te viene con la caja de la tecleña. And then you keep it there, yeah. Sweet bread. En el mejor de los casos. <laughs> Well, but there are others that are very delicious as well. Or ice cream. In some cases, people take ice cream or chocolate or candy or a topper. Or you can, you have your Tupperware, right? Ustedes llevan su topper ahí para caer de regreso. I have a friend who has two in her car. Ella siempre anda dos en el carro. All the time. Just in case. I mean, if they say like... Yeah, if they say, ah, oh, we have leftover pizza. I have a topper in my car. And then she takes the pizza with her. <laughs> she saves a lot of money. So <laughs> expectations from another country, not from El Salvador. But let's practice them. When you visit someone, what is something that you can do? It is the custom to bring a small gift. You aren't supposed to arrive early, right? Please announce. La, la reunión es a las 5 de la tarde y usted llegó a las 10 de la mañana. <laughs> I don't have lunch for you. <laughs> if you want to bring someone, if you want to bring someone, eh, imagine, if, if I invite you for Christmas to my house and you say, me voy a llevar a estos mis dos amigos, ¿ve? and then I have three more people in my house and you, and so you are four guests. So if you want to bring someone, you are expect to call and ask first. Hey, can I take some friends with me? 
you are supposed to check with the host, right? Nati, can I take some friends? Yeah, bring everybody, I would say. It is not acceptable to arrive without calling first, okay? He's like, Nati, I am going right now to your house, right? If not, Nati here in Chancleta, right? In, in Chore Chore de la, de la casa. Yeah, yeah. Chore Chancleta, you say, hey, <laughs> <laughs> It might happen, right? A hundred percent possible. So you are, you need to call first. So the last exercise that we are going to do from the book is this one. It's a matching. It's a matching exercise. And it says, if you plan to visit someone at home, what do you think it's the most appropriate thing? You're supposed to call first. You are supposed to call first. Okay. If you have been to a friend's home for dinner, if you have been to a friend's home for dinner, um, is acceptable to share the expenses? Mm, no, for example, if I bring you to my house for dinner, do you expect to leave the tip on her? That would be fantastic, right? Si me dejan propina, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it, it is the custom to thank him or her, right? Thank you very much yeah. for this fantastic I don't that. When you have been invited to a wedding. Letter D. Letter D. to respond writing. You are expected to respond in writing, right? The R S B P. Have you seen that on the invitation? No. Nunca han visto no. eso en las invitaciones. No. Que dice abajo y dice R S V P y un número de teléfono. Todas mis invitaciones han sido verbales. <laughs> so this one is reserve si vous plaît. Or respond si vous plaît. It's like, confirme, por favor. <laughs> mm. Reserve, si vous plaît. Please, reserve. So now you know. You have to call and say, yes, I am going. Okay. When you go out on a date. It's acceptable to share the expenses. Okay. <laughs> it is acceptable <laughs> to share the expenses. I will say another one, but that's okay. Uh, if the service in a restaurant is, is acceptable, it's good. You are expected to leave a tip, right? <laughs> you aren't supposed to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> nice service. <laughs> <laughs> when you Nobody meet... likes that. <laughs> <Better. laughs> to leave a tip, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, thank I you very know. much. <laughs> Persona que ya no puede entrar en este lugar después. <laughs> exactly like that. When you meet someone for the first time, you're supposed, you're to, supposed kiss to kiss him. Okay. <laughs> Some people later in life don't tell me that you don't know what to do. Okay. Si el servicio es bueno en el restaurante, no vayan a besar a los meseros. Thank you very much. It was beautiful. <laughs> Teacher Nati told me. <laughs> or whatever employee. <laughs> Whatever service that you receive, right? In the car was. Este, perdón, don, don, don Juan. Este ya no venga. Ya estoy sintiendo cosas. <laughs> oh my God, people. I have enjoyed so much being with you and being your teacher and your facilitator. I hope yeah. you continue working. Please don't erase my number from WhatsApp, okay? <laughs> don't erase yeah. my number. Okay. If you need anything, if you need help, if you need material, if you need anything with uh, with uh, related to English, right? No money because I cannot offer it to you. <laughs> but uh, I will be more than glad to help you, okay? So keep okay. my keep my number and That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, the, for the last thing that I'm going to do is the attendance. Don't worry. Ahorita les paso lista. Eso es lo último que voy a hacer. I, okay. have, it. Sure. <laughs> I have it ready. Don't worry. Don't worry. And for sure. sure you're going to share uh, 
Yes, I have a, I have a link that I was mentioning. For us. No, don't cry, don't cry. I will be there. I will send you a, a Merry Christmas message. Don't worry. Uh, and for sure, si no me bloquean, vea. Bloqueada la teacher ahorita. Going to look for you? No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am going to I am going to be here for you. Okay, so when I say your name, you can actually leave or you can stay and say goodbye. Alejandra Cristina. Present. Here. Astrid Present. Michelle. Present. Blanca Estela. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Claudia Yanet. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús. Present, Miss. Gabriela. Present, teacher. Gladys. Griselda. Thank you. Present, Jasmine. teacher. Thank you. Joaquín. Present. Jose Arturo. Present. Emmanuel. Isaías. Okay. Lilian Estela. Thanks for all, teacher. <laughs> Thank you very much, okay. Luis Fernando. Present, teacher. Luis Roberto, Madeline, Manuel Aristides. Present. Thank you. Olivia, Paola, Rosa Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you very much. Oh, bye bye, baby. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Thank you. Walter René. Jenny Maritza. Present teacher. Thank you very much. And Walter René is not here today. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear students. I love you a lot. May God bless you a lot. Have a beautiful Christmas. And I will see you around. And if you need anything, don't forget that you can send me a message. I will Thank be you. more than glad For to help you. Thank you very much. Good Have night, a wonderful teacher. night. The same, everybody. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you. You're welcome, my dear. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, I will. Bye-bye.